Hello, it's Gem Games here once again, and in this video we are going to add some animation to the points. So when we get points, I will show you. Now we will just you can see plus ten, plus ten, plus ten, and if we get more like plus fifty, plus eighty, it will like or override the like the last one. So we can only see one at a time. So let's fix that. So let's go to the play to the HUD and to the player HUD. Let's open that. And one thing that I first want to do here, I want to change these to some smaller value. So, and actually, I want to move these off the screen. You don't have to delete those. You can, we can use those later. So you can just move them off so we can see them anymore. But now, what I want to do here is I want to adjust these values a little bit. So I want to make this size y 80 and now oh um actually let's add a border let's move it here and let's change this size to like 150 and 80 and now i want to make this tint i will make it black and uh, opacity or the alpha zero. So if we later on want to add some image or something, and we can do it, like under the round number. But yeah, let's get the round number, text 12, let's move it to the border. And now let's rename this border, um, round number border, for example, and this round number, like that. We can compile and save. Now, uh, we want to change this font size, or at least I want to change it to something smaller, to 48, I think. That's okay. Yes, that looks pretty good. Now, let's click the round, round number border once more, and let's add the, add the anchor to the left bottom corner. And now let's zero it out, so position X zero, position Y zero. And now this Y uh, alignment, I want to put one here. And now I will add position uh, X to 100 and Y to minus 50. So now it's at the same, uh, like, at the same position as this. So yeah. Now this one, so the points box. Let's, I want to actually change it. I will add one here to the Y alignment and this position Y to minus 150, actually minus 175. Okay, I think that's better. Compile and save. Now I want to check my font, what size? It's 36. Okay, I want to make it a lot smaller, like 26, I think. And also, the points box, let's make it 40. Okay, now it's a lot better for me. Now, the points change that we have here. We can actually delete that. And what we want to do there, we want to click this points box once more, and we want to search for a grid and we want to get this uniform grid panel we want to add it to points box so it goes after this and now let's rename it to uh, points change slot okay let's make it a variable compile and say now we have some errors because we don't haven't changed those functions yet but it doesn't matter let's go to the first person map and we actually want to create a new widget widget blueprint and let's get the user widget let's call this for example points change slot again sorry i'm really bad with these names now let's open that and here we want to first add a canvas, canvas panel, 
here. Uh, let's make this canvas size custom. Uh, let's make the width. Um, let's make it like 200 and the height. I think it was 40 that we used before. I will actually have to check it. So here, Y is 40, yeah. So let's make it like that. Now let's add the text. Let's search for text. Let's move it to here. And let's change the font size to the 18, for example. Let's anchor it to the left middle there. Position uh, X and Y to 0. And here to the alignment Y, 0.5. Okay. And also what we want to do here is... Uh, what? How can I... Oh, we want to click the here, size to content. So it goes to the middle. And let's add some test uh, amount here. So like plus 100. Okay. Let's compile and save. Now we want to rename this text to points. Oh, it didn't work. Points change amount like that and let's make it a variable compile and save and actually let's save all now let's go to the graph and here we have a few things we have to do let's first add some variables so first one is y move amount and type should be uh, float let's duplicate it and now let's rename this to x move amount from so y move um, y move amount x move amount now let's duplicate once more let's call this just uh, let's call this points amount and let's make it integer like that uh, let's add another variable this is called double points let's make this type boolean now we can add once more uh, one more this should be called add so if you are adding or uh, removing oh and one thing that i forgot we want to make all of this instance editable and expose on spawn instance editable and expose on spawn so we can adjust this values when we are spawning this uh, widget so instance editable expose on spawn instance editable and expose on spawn so now that everything is done, we can delete uh, the pre-construct and move this tick further down. So now here on the event construct, what we want to do here, we first want to get the points amount. And we want to to text integer like this. And now we want to get the points change amount. And we want to set text. So this content set text. To connect that from the event construct. So the event construct is basically begin play of the widget. So when the widget is created, it plays this. Okay. And uh, now from the text here, we want to get a select select node. And the rule here should be the add. Okay, let's move this a little bit further. Now we want to get from, for example, from the false one and format text. So when we are not adding, we want to add a uh, sorry, we want to add a minus space and this and an amount like this. So when we at this, we will get extra pin here. So now it will show minus and space and the amount. Okay. Now we can continue the amount there. Now to the true, we want to copy, control C, control V, paste it to here and connect it to the true. And we only want to change this minus to plus. 
like that and connect to amount also now let's open this and uh, i want to set this use cropping to false like that and now i will actually align this okay the use cropping is just if the value is bigger than like 999 if it's 1000 it will add a space after the one if you use this i don't want to use it and actually now when we're talking about that i want to go to the uh, player hat and to the points text here and we have this uh, co uh, function here this binding let's open that and here let's click this and also make the use cropping to false okay compile and save now let's go back to here uh, so now we have set those now what we want to do we want to get from this points change amount we want to get font and uh, we want to move it to here let's add a reroute for example here we will need to get one more thing from this we want to get get from this and set font like this let's connect it to here actually let's add a reroute like that now let's split this and also let's split this and here we can connect this first and second and third fourth and we only want to change this, this font size okay like that and now we want to get this from this font size and we want to get a select integer node and now we want to actually let's compile all just to be sure let's get the points amount once more once again i mean and let's get less so when the points that we are adding is less than 50 connected to there when it's less than 50 uh, then the font size should be i would say 14 you can adjust this later but yeah and if it's bigger, so it's not less than 50, then we want to duplicate this and connect B to the return, return value. And now we want to copy this list node, connect this to here, so connect this also. So when, uh, when it's not less than 50, so it's bigger than 49, so it's 50 or bigger, then we will go to here and here we want to check if it's less than 100. And if it is, then we want to make this like 18. And if it's not less, so it's 100 or bigger, then we want to make this like 22, I think. Okay, compile and save, and save all once more. Now, one more thing, or actually many more things, but yeah, one at a time. Let's get the points change amount once more. You can also get from here, but I will get the new one. Now we want to set color and opacity this one connect it to here and uh, we want to get from this and we want to select also let's move this a little bit further now uh, here we want to get the uh, add so if we are adding let's connect the add to the index if, when we are adding uh, wait why cannot I uh, where you here I should be able to read oh sorry let's delete this and let's get select hmm why can't I do it let's split it oh sorry we have to first split that and we want to get from this in color okay select I didn't actually remember that okay now let's connect to add to there so when we are uh, not adding points so we are decreasing our points it takes this b1 so let's set this to like um i would say something like that maybe light red you can obviously use whatever you want but i will use something like that okay and now let's copy this set of color once more to here and let's connect it to the a and now we want to check if we have the double points and if we have double points it's the A1, we want to, or actually, I want to set it to some 
shade of yellow, maybe like, or like prowess yellow, something like this maybe. You can use whatever you want, but yeah, that's for me, good. And the B is when we don't have double points, so no, no, we are normally adding, let's set it to uh, white. Okay, compile and save all once more. Now, what else we want to do, okay? We want to get the points change amount once more. We want to get transform, get transform, and then we want to split it. Okay, and transform translation. Let's split it, split it, and now we want to set render transform. Connect that there. And also let's connect this to the target. Like that. Uh, it's not a Okay, now it's better. And now let's split this. And let's split this transform. Now what we want to do, we want to connect this X straight away to there. But here to the Y, we want to add. This is how when the points spawn, they will, they don't spawn all the time like at the, on top of each, each other sorry and now we want to get the y move amount and we want to multiply it and the value, value which is good for me is uh, 10 okay and now what we want to do after this um, Let's actually just add a little delay. We'll change this later, but I will show you. Let's make it 1.5, for example, and after that, remove from uh, parent, sorry. Remove from parent, so this one. Compile and save all. Now, what we want to do here, we want to get this event tick and move it further down so we get some space. And we want to add here a few things. So actually, we want to go back to here where we set the render transform. Let's copy all this. Control C. Let's move it here to the tick. Like that. Let's connect the tick to here. And now here we want to let's delete that and also that. We want to duplicate this add. We also want to add from the uh, X there. So we want to add from both of these. And the values that we want to add are um, Y move amount. We want to add it to the Y. So Y to the Y. And X, we want to add it to the X. Okay, simple as that. Now we want to set these values, okay? So let's compile and save, and let's go back to the player HUD and to the uh, event graph. So now we have few errors here on the increase points and decrease points. We are going to fix it now. It's pretty easy. Okay, so the increase points one, uh, we can delete all these now. So we can delete all these after the points, set points. Okay, and now what we want to do here Oh We actually need to create a new function quickly Okay, and let's call it Set, uh, set points change moving amount or something like that. Oh, I had a ac accidental capital letter there. Compile and save. Now let's add a input here. Let's call it points amount. Let's make the type 
uh, integer one and save. Now we want to promote it to a local variable. Let's call it also points chains. Uh, sorry, points amount. Let's add a space so it works better. Compile and save. And now what we want to do? Uh, we want to first get a random float in range. Then we want to set the minimum value to minus 1.5 and the max to minus 1.2. Okay. And then we want to duplicate this here. Now we want to make the minimum positive 1.2 like that and maximum 1.5. Okay. You can understand later what this does. Now let's get a select float and connect the upper one to the A and lower one to the B, like that. And now we want to get the Oh, we want to create a new variable. Let's call this points moving uh, or actually like points random amount. Let's make the type uh, float compile and, and save. Now let's get it and we want to check if it's greater than zero and connect it there. So uh, we will set this later but when this amount is like smaller uh, greater than zero then we will get negative values and when it's less then we, we will get positive. I will show you. You can understand soon what it does like really. Okay now what we want to do we want to add a select float once more and we want to first connect this straight away to the A and now we want to get the points amount to here and we want to check if that points amount is less than 50 then we'll connect it to the PK now we want to duplicate this to here also duplicate this and here we want to connect it there and check if it's less than 100 and connect it to the other K okay. okay and now here from the B, we want to connect to the return value like that. And now we want to get from this return value and we want to divide. So when the points value is not smaller than 50, but it's smaller than 100, then we want to divide by 3. And when it's uh, 100 or bigger, so this one, then we want to, let's connect this to there, we want to divide by Thin, I think, like that. You can adjust this later, but these are the values that I'm going with. And now we want to do, we want to actually copy both of these. Or actually, we don't have to copy those. We can actually just, let's copy, sorry, let's copy these. Connect them to there, to here. Now let's connect this to the upper one and this to the bottom one like that and now we want to click this and add a output actually two outputs first one oh, sorry let's actually delete that other one because yeah you can see soon the first one is y amount and the type is float and now we can just Add a, another one, it will be float automatically, so that's easier. So x amount, like that. And now we want to move this to here and connect the x execute there. Now this first one is y amount. We want to connect this to the y amount. This next one is x amount. We connect them like that. And here, the x amount here we want to set this A value to 1.4 this value to 0.85 and this B value to 0.3 you can change this later but yeah compile 
and save and save all. Now we can go back to the event graph. And here, what we want to now do, we want to get our set uh, points change moving amount and connect it to there. And now we want to get from this return value and connect it to there. And what we also want to do, we want to get from here and we want to create widget like this and we want to select the uh, uh, where is it points change slot this one okay now let's compile and say once more now we want to add a reroute to here we want to connect this points amount to the points amount like that now we want to connect the y amount and x amount those values and now we want to get from uh, here, I want to connect this straight away to the double points. Let's add a reroute also, so it looks nicer, like that. This is a little bit spaghetti code, but yeah. And now we want to click from here, from the add, like that. And one more thing we want to do, we want to get the points uh, po points change lot this one we want to get it to here and we want to add to add child to uniform grid so this one oh no 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 sorry sorry we want to just add child this time add child this one okay connect it to there and now let's connect the content from the return value like that okay let's compile and save now the next thing we want to do we want to copy all of this, like that, all this, Control and C, and go here at the bottom where we have the decrease points. Here we want to delete all of these, also that, and let's actually move this closer. And now we want to paste all the things that we, sorry, I will move this a little bit, yeah, uh, let's paste that we created so basically all these the same let's actually move this so they are at the same position because i like everything to be like aligned somehow okay now i think it's pretty good yes now let's connect it to there and now from here uh, we want to get from the amount so we want to get from this one and connect it to the points amount and add some reroutes like this and also we want to connect this to the points amount like that actually let's move this okay now it's aligned it's looking pretty good and now we want to make this add false and yeah it should be like that compile and save Oh, let's go to the designer and we have this increase points. We can delete it and decrease points, delete. Okay, compile and save. Now everything should work. And soon we will add the animation to the point change slot. So this one. Okay, now when we buy the weapon, let's see. You can see minus 300 and it's moving. I will show you now what it does. When it... So when the points are under 50, you can see they are. Oh, one thing I forgot, I forgot completely. Um, where was it? I think it was like... Okay, sorry, let's go to the player HUD. And to the graph, and to the set points set points change amount moving amount or whatever we want to get this points random amount we want to set it here this i want to connect this to the y amount and this to the here so it just goes through this it, it sets this every time okay compile and save now i will show you guys what it does so when it's under 50 points will be like small and they will go like a little bit up or down and yeah, you can see 
And when it when they are 50 or bigger, they will be a little bit bigger the text, and it will go. It they won't go like that much to the up or down. So they will go like you can check. And when the points are even bigger, so I'll show you again. If we get, for example, the insta kill and double points, uh, actually we can get that. So now we have double points. The points will sh show as yellow. And when it's bigger than 199, uh, so it's 100 or bigger, it will go. They will go like almost directly to the right. Uh, sorry, I cannot explain this, but you can just see how it works. And yeah, when it's super big, it will go slowly and like that. Now, one more thing that I want to do here. Okay, I will actually check one thing. So... Okay, one more thing we want to do to make that look a little bit better. Let's go to the point, change slot, and to the designer. We want to click this points, change amount. And we want to create a animation. The first animation, let's call it fast anim. Open it, let's add a track and points change amount. Transform, let's open the transform. Uh, sorry, what? No, 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 not transform. Uh, render opacity, so this one. Uh, we are at the zero. Let's make them like. 0.6, I think. Now let's go to the 0.75. Let's make them 0.6. And at the 1, let's make it 0, like that. Now let's duplicate this animation. Let's call it like mid anim or like something like that. Let's open it. Now, what I want to do here on this anim, I want to actually set this render opposite to 0.8. And here, we want to actually delete this 0.75. We want to go to the one second, I want to set this 0.8, and now on the 1.52, I want to make this zero. So now it lasts 0.25 seconds longer, and they are a little bit more like uh, visible. Okay, now let's duplicate it one more time. Let's call this slow anim. Let's click the slow anim, and now we want to set this to one, or yeah, one. Now let's delete this one second mark. Let's call it a 1.25. Let's make this one. And now to 1.5 and zero. Okay. Compile and save. Now let's go to the graph. And let's just add those animations to our code. Simple as that. So what we want to do here, we want to actually go here after everything. Ah, uh, actually, we want to delete this now. And now we want to play animation. Get this node connected to there. And the animation, we want to actually get a select node like this. And now we want to go back here. We want to copy points out all this. We want to copy this control and C. And we want to paste the code here. And the first one, we want to connect it here to the index. And if it's... Uh, if it's uh, less than 50, we want to set this true. So, uh, sorry, we want to get the fast anim. True. Now let's duplicate this to here. And connect the false, so the upper one, to here. And now the rule should be this. And now here, what we want to set, we want to set the uh, slow anim to the false. So like this. Actually, I will move like this. Okay, now it's looking better. And now the mid anim at the bottom. So basically, when the points are under 50, it will play the fast anim. When it's under 100, 100 but uh, they are greater than 50, uh, 49, and under 100, then it will play the mid anim. And if it's bigger than 99, so 
100 or bigger, then you could play the slow anim. Okay, now one more thing we have to do here. We want to uh, get this node or from the return value, and we want to get end time like this. Now let's get it, move it to there. Let's add some reroutes because we want the uh, uh, widget to be destroyed after the animation time, and we have different times here, so we can get the end time. So basically, the length of the animation, and then we can get the uh, delay, and we can set it there. So it's always uh, the delay is as long as this animation, even if it changes. Yeah, and after this, we want to remove from parent like this. And now, if I'm not completely wrong, uh, I think everything should be done. So let's compile and save and save all. So let's see. So when I shoot, you can see the small values are like they aren't that visible and they will only last a while and the bigger values are more visible and they will last a little bit longer so you can see them better. Now when we get even bigger values, for example if we take that plus, plus, plus 2000, you can see it lasts a lot longer so it will lag a little bit when we have both insta kill and double points at the same time but yeah it still looks good i think you can adjust it how you want but i think this system is pretty nice and if we get the oh we don't have the i'll show you it looks nice when the which number is the shotgun is it six let's see no it's not is it four i think it's four yeah it's four now when we have the shotgun it looks super nice I will show you. Yeah, those points look super good, I think. One thing that actually I noticed, I think we haven't set these uh, planks to... Let's open this blueprint quickly. PP chompy window. And let's go to the viewport and yeah, let's click these uh, planks. I think the, yeah, block all dynamic. Let's make this custom. Uh, let's make it block, but only thing we want to overlap is the shoot and maybe the projectile like that. Uh, plank two. Custom uh, shoot and projectile, yeah. Plank three. Oh, shoot and projectile. And plank five. Custom sh projectile and shoot, and then the plank four. Custom. Open shoot and projector. So let's see if it, if we can shoot through it now. Yeah. Yeah, now we can shoot through the planks. So like this. Okay. But yeah, I think this was all for this video. If you like what you saw, please click the like button and subscribe if you want to continue watching this series. And also uh, one more thing, if you have some ideas for the HUD for the this side of the screen, because I actually don't know what I want to do with it, so tell me in the comments uh, so if you have some ideas for that. Okay, yeah, see the next one. Bye.